Kathy Griffin is completely insane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course, he, she's insane. Did you see her eyebrows? Did you see her eyebrows? Valeria reacts. Episode one. Mr. Reagan. All right, so a little while ago, I introduced you to my girlfriend, Valeria. And after that magnificent interview, I, th <laughs> I thought it would be a good idea to do a series. So we're getting Valeria's reaction to various political videos. And this one, I think, is particularly strong because uh, it, it actually made the news. And I showed this to her once before, but we didn't get the audio recorded. So this is going to be the second time. And I'm going to show her this with some various supplementary content so that she can get a full idea of the political implications of it. All right, so um, before we watch this, I, I do need to uh, draw your attention to a company that supports my channel. Imagine if you had received a personal invitation to invest $50 in Uber when it was a startup. On IPO day, you could have made $248,250. That same $50 invested in Amazon before it IPO'd could have made you over $7 million. Mike Marcula was Apple's first angel investor. On IPO day, his windfall was already 220,552%. But that was when Apple was only worth 1.8 billion. Think about how much Marcula's net worth grew as Apple blazed a path to becoming the first $1 trillion company in US history. And without him, iPhones, Apple Watches, iPads, and other devices that we use in our everyday lives may have never been invented. Look at these surprising returns from these popular startup companies. One of these earned 583,264% revenue surge. What would you rather be, an angel investor or an IPO investor? The choice is clear as day. How would you feel if you could lock in a ground floor opportunity in the hottest startups this year that everybody's fighting over? Fortunately, Shark Tank's Robert Herjavec and his team of ultra successful angel investors are here to help deliver angel deals with life-changing upside delivered to you on a silver platter. Watch the free video at getangelrich.com or click the link in the description below to see how you can participate in these potentially lucrative deals before the mainstream finds out about them. That's getangelrich.com. Okay, we're back. Let's watch this video. Is absolutely is don't send your children unaccompanied uh, on trains or through uh, through a bunch of smugglers we don't even know how many of these kids don't make it and may have been waylaid into sex trafficking or killed because they fell off a train we have no way of tracking that so that is our direct message to the families in Central America do not send your children to the borders if they do make it they'll get sent back more importantly they may, may not make it um, Isn't Trump saying the same thing? What? As an Obama, like don't yeah, well, exactly. Send, that's the whole reason he put it on there like, to show the hypocrisy of the left. Don't don't send your children. Yeah, that's the whole reason that guy put that on there. Like, let's pretend that he doesn't say anything like that, but if Trump says this, he's racist. One of the women that was um, featured in that video, right? Her head was put on one of the characters. Um, was blonde one uh, redhead redhead anyway it doesn't matter uh, she was killed by CNN in the video and actually take note that Bernie was killed by the DNC 
which I think is really funny. The Democratic For me, it doesn't make any sense, but whatever. <laughs> so this woman, Kathy Griffin, is in this video being killed by CNN. And uh, a lot of people complained about this, this, this video that I just showed you. But she, uh, she in particular was particularly vocal about how awful this video was and how she is blah, 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 whatever. Because she was criticized very strongly for a, a series of photos that she took when she was holding Donald Trump's severed head. Bloody severed head. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if I like the hair better before or after. With all the blood? Obviously, it was a sort of despicable photo. And so, because she was criticized for this, she feels like she's been attacked by the right. And that this is, it's, she's so funny. Okay, so she's actually done a, um, a movie about this incident, about herself. Okay, hold on. One more video. Now, I haven't seen this one, actually. Please welcome back to our show. She hasn't been here forever. We haven't heard her talk about anything forever. Kathy Griffin. Hi, guys. The fact that this photo that I took, which was not illegal, covered by the First Amendment, you can be offended by it. It's OK. It was a mask with ketchup. But you know, and um, you know, I was under uh, a full federal investigation by two federal agencies. And blocked from flying. I was on the no-fly list. How did you get here? Did you walk? Uh, I'm off. No, I was actually exonerated. And like when Trump goes, I was exonerated. No, no, I have a letter from the government actually saying I was exonerated because they were investigating me and considering, and this is a historic story in our country, considering charging me with the crime of conspiracy to assassinate the president of the United States. In the meantime, on your social media, the video that we can't show, but I've seen it, is the president with a gun. The pre yeah, there's Killing a video people out, in, yeah, in, and he's doing it in a church like Dylan Roof, which is really bad news. And they made a video of Trump, you know, doing a mass shooting inside a church. And the last two people he murders are me and Hillary Clinton. And so what the reason I talk about it is, you know, uh, this thing will get all ginned up again. So like the same groups that came after me two and a half years ago, they're going to be reinvigorated. And frankly, we don't know how people take that video. So it's really, really violent, and people's heads get blown off. And there's, there, you know, Stephanie Grisham, the White House uh, press comms director, was trying to distance herself. But they played it at Durrell, one of his golf clubs. It's a fake video, but they're trying to make fun of it. Yeah. Kathy, um, how do people receive you in the streets? Like, because for me, I'd be like, hey, Kathy. Yeah, I, all kinds of ways. I mean, it depends. Things have, things have gotten better now. I will say this video today is, is not going to help. And so I already have been in contact with the FBI again. And so uh, when I go outside, it? it's really odd because, you know, I don't know, like, who's, who's one of them. Like, who's, you know, people, people thought that I was in ISIS, OK, you guys? Like, they weren't just mad that I held up a mask with ketchup on it. Like, they then manipulated the photo, and it went global. And I cover that in the movie. Like, I didn't know it was in Arabic papers. It was in papers in Russia, China, and saying, Kathy Griffin, jihad asset. So people will come up to me on the street and you know think I'm in ISIS and these are obviously like the hardcore Trumpers and it's very bizarre. You know I'm a, I'm going to be 59 in a couple of weeks and you know once again this video comes out today and I'm like would you really want this to happen to like your mom or your aunt or you know and and since the photo two and a half years ago I'm still like so you don't the, feel one like of the, the tide original, is turning? I I don't know. I mean I still don't have a gig. You know, I don't so have. So you paid for your whole on-demand special by yourself. The I paid lights, for the film the myself, and we even filmed the documentary portion. And on I'm an actually, iPhone. On an iPhone. Your boyfriend. Yes, my boyfriend. Are you, you guys are still together. It. Yeah, we're t we're still together. Eight years. Okay. Still 19 years younger. Hello. <laughs> and. And has this caused turmoil at one particular point? I don't mean to it be has nosy, with our, but I am. No, it's okay. It has with our families. Like, his family is super, like, they don't, they're very vocal online about how they feel about me, and that's hard for him to deal with. And none of my family members talk to me. Not one Griffin has contacted me. Like, my cousin. Well, now, hold on now. Are you serious? No. You know, when you go through something like this that's so immense, like when the United oh States government and the president and the attorney general come after you, yeah. and they put you on the no-fly list, and then I was on the Interpol list when I could finally travel overseas because I couldn't make a living here, and I'm still, I'm still, um, you know, I have no network that if will you touch were me. Man, no if you were a man, if you were a man, this would already been uh, forgotten about. Like Please. Eddie Murphy and J Dave Chappelle have already been forgiven by the gay community for their homophobic 
And Thanks. they're getting $40 million deals. Yes. And so yeah. I just want to say, like, I always, you know, still want to talk about pay equality because, you know, I know, every, I know every woman fights it. But yeah. in the stand-up comedy world, it's really not that much better since then when I started. So yeah. one thing I did during this last couple of years, is besides make the movie, is I actually bought back my own library because it's really all about licensing and ownership. <gasps> so I paid a lot of money to buy back all six seasons of my life on the D-list, all 23 of my specials, the two seasons of my Smart. talk show. And here's the best part. It's worth nothing. Nobody wants to buy it, but I'm hoping like well, someday if I kick what? the bucket or something, somebody's going to be like, hey, I want to show those specials. They were funny or yeah. whatever. So I own them now. You got to come get them and you got to pay me what you would pay a man. What okay. you would pay a man. Yeah. That's what I want. All right. So by the way, how, what's your relationship with Anderson? Did he turn his back on you or yeah. did he? Oh, oh, sorry. He did. I mean, oh. you guys all saw it. So I can't lie about it. Wow. <laughs> and it hurt. Like I, I always. How do you get along I with Andy? I say in the movie. Cohen. I don't get along with Andy Cohen. Who, what celebrities, if, if Ryan Seacrest called you and said, <laughs> come host on New Year's Eve, would you do it? I love that you think ABC would like come anywhere near me. I mean, I wanted to, here's, he was my thing that I pitched for the last two years and nobody was smart enough to bite. I wanted to do New Year's Eve live with Kathy Griffin and Stormy Daniels. Thank you. That's a show. That is, a, that's right. <laughs> All right, so what did we think of the initial Trump video killing all the TV networks. I forgot how long the scene was. It's long. It's a long scene. And I didn't know that that so many networks yeah. <laughs> are exist in America. Yeah, it's a lot of networks. Yeah, are they all networks except Fox hate Trump? Yeah, pretty much, I think, yeah. This makes sense. I mean, there's also websites and stuff like that, I mean. Like There's BuzzFeed, uh, I saw BuzzFeed, I know them, because they said something about you, no? BuzzFeed. Yeah, they made a whole, uh, yeah, this is why I know a whole that. video about okay. me. Okay, that's funny video, that's funny. Yeah, I mean, it, like, it's not really my thing, I don't like to see people getting brutally murdered uh, yeah, but... in the church. What cracks me up about it is that the, it's not like some Trump supporter made the original video of a yeah, bunch of people a, getting murdered in a church. A from a woman, this is from a scene a from Kingsman, yeah. right? So the people in Kingsman were sitting around the room going, gentlemen, I've got a brilliant idea for a scene, all right? We have our hero, played by Colin Firth, walk in to a church and murder all the Christians in the church. What do we think? Brilliant, right? Oh, yes, yes, that, that's absolutely brilliant. Nobody likes those dirty Christians. Yes, who's going to sympathize with them? Horrible people always loving thine enemy and things like that. Disgusting, despicable. Yes, kill them all, kill them all. So they put the movie out, they do the scene, right? They, they put the movie out. Not a peep. Nobody complains, nobody criticizes it, it's fine. And then somebody decides, oh, here's a good idea. Let's put Trump's head on the hero and put logos of left-wing news organizations on all the, you know, Christians. Then suddenly it's the, oh my gosh, this is going to incite people to violence. I mean, you saw Kathy Griffin in the interview. I don't know how people are going to take that. They might, they might come try to murder me. First of all, he doesn't even kill her in the, in the video. CNN kills her because I think CNN fired her from her job. So, she's said, like, You said she was an actress. She is, yeah. She is or she was? Well, she's not a good actress. But well, she funny. worked for CNN? She worked for CNN doing a uh, New Year's Eve special every year. So mm -hmm. every year. Why they fired her? Well, they said they fired her because of this head, Trump head thing. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I think it's probably because she's just not funny. She tried to get famous or... She was famous. She, she looked like she enjoying this. Oh, yeah. Big time. Yeah, you, that's such a good observation, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because her, like, how excited she is. I don't know if she's like this all the time. Yeah. But... Yeah, she's a little crazy. <laughs> you can kind of tell. But is it even, like, illegal to... to do this kind of thing, like, when you're holding... A head of the president. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's totally legal. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's not saying one should go kill Trump. She's just saying, like, I dislike Trump. This is, it's a, it's a detestable way of doing it, but I, I don't actually have a problem with those pictures. I never really did. She, the way she talks about this, it's as if 
like nobody thought she was in ISIS. What is she talking about? I feel, I feel like she's like legitimately lost her mind. And she's talking about how her family won't talk to her and how nobody will work with her and all that kind of stuff. I don't think that's true. I think it might be true, but I don't think it's because she did the severed head photos. I think it's because she's crazy. <laughs> she's like, I bought all the rights to all my previous work, but nobody wants to buy them for some reason. Yeah, it's because you're not funny. Like, at no point have I ever watched a Kathy Griffin scene in a TV show or comedy bit or anything and laughed. <laughs> I don't think I've ever laughed at anything she's ever you said. You don't like gingers? <laughs> no, I love Bill Burr. <laughs> I love Bill Burr. Gingers are a little bit crazy. I'm not a racist against the gingers. They're a little bit crazy. <laughs> I suppose some are, but I mean, she I... certainly is. Oh, yeah, if she's got the young um, boyfriend. You, you know what's really sad about that is you know that he only... He's got to be dating her because she's... Maybe not. Rich and famous. Maybe she's hot in, in bed. Oh! <laughs> I told you gingers are crazy. Uh, maybe, maybe. How do you not... How, how? But, you know, uh, one thing that um, I think is a little bit uh, funny she kept talking about how she was like really persecuted for this if by fbi yeah and all that kind of stuff like i was held for six hours i'm gonna make sure this never happens to anyone again how yeah well Who first of all you? yeah you're not gonna do anything what really would well. you do yeah <laughs> but secondly you were held for six hours i mean it's not great but it's not the end of the world like get over it I i've never seen anyone as narcissistic as her and what's this nonsense about the wage gap thing and men would have got paid more and all this, so they would have forgotten about men? Dave Chappelle is funny. Of course he gets paid a lot of money for his stand-up. He's funny. Mm -hmm. Kathy Griffin isn't funny. Yeah. I don't know, well, what, what's your perspective? Did you, when you were watching the comedy stuff, uh, did you find her particularly amusing? No. I'm not enjoying woman stand-up. Oh, really? I don't, I don't think woman... You, we have never actually talked about that. Uh, I am watching stand-up comedy, and it's always men, always men, always men. I, I'm not enjoying. I mean, well, you think Spy is funny with uh, hmm? with uh, Melissa McCarthy? You thought that was funny? Yeah, yeah, she's funny. So you, you think great. there can be funny female she's comedians? She's great. Comedian, I mean, comedians, yes, of course, but stand-up. Hmm. The stand-up that I saw, whatever. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't watch it is this. very rare if I if I've I, I can't really remember saying stand up that I thought was particularly funny from a woman. Roseanne, Roseanne Barr. You probably don't know who that is, but Rose, Roseanne's early stand up comedy was was really good. It was really funny. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it is very very rare yeah. to see a good female stand. That's a good point. All right. Well, I think that's it. Um, do you have anything else to say? No, as usual. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Uh, you forced Valeria. me. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. I did force her, yeah. It's getting kind of late. All right, well, we'll wrap it up. Yeah, so there you have it. Kathy Griffin is completely insane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course, here she's insane. Did you see her eyebrows? Did you see her eyebrows? And, uh, and uh, the left is losing their minds over anything that's critical of them at all, even though they're perfectly fine with violence against Christians or probably anybody else. Violence against Trump, they don't have a problem with. Mm -hmm. Violence against Christians, they don't have a problem with. Yeah, but like 60% of the America is Christians, like 62, 60 yeah, something. something yeah. And nobody said anything. No. It's sad. But uh, it is sad. It is sad. But yeah, you can kill Trump uh, in any way you want, in any video you want, and nobody criticizes you. She, she claims that she was harassed by the government. I, I don't think, I think she was fine. I think people have been looking for an excuse to disassociate themselves from her for a very long time. So I think that she's, I think she's a little... Anyway, um, but, uh, but if you do anything against the media or against the left, if you create a satirical video of Trump murdering anybody, oh, then... Suddenly you are dangerous and, you know, we got to be afraid of the crazy right-wingers. I think it's pretty messed up how the left 
characterizes the right as crazy and violent. Oh yeah. It's Antifa is fine. Antifa is fine. Antifa is not crazy. Antifa is fine. It's those crazy right wingers that are causing all the trouble. <sighs> Whatever. I mean, they're they're hypocrites, and they're delusional. I think that's that's the takeaway from this. And remember, our liberal friends are not ignorant. They just know so much that isn't so. <laughs> Good, Good night. night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Am I free to pee? <laughs> You know I'm going to leave that in. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have so many people who can't see a fat man standing beside a thin one without coming to the conclusion the fat man got that way by taking advantage of the thin one. Mr. President, in talking about the continuing recession tonight, you have blamed mistakes of the past, and you have blamed the Congress. Does any of the blame belong to you? Yes, because for many years I was a Democrat. <laughs>